Hi everybody. Thanks for checking out my Prince on a vlog. So, um, last night was the full moon eclipse. It was so beautiful. I went down to Malibu. I filmed some video. I don't know if I'll end up editing it because, you know, I was just kind of half-assing it, but it was really amazing. And my phone didn't get that great of pictures of the moon, but, um, it was just so nice to be at the beach again. And, ah, the energy was profound. Huge end of a chapter for me yesterday and a huge beginning of multiple new chapters. And so I, I believe that's probably the permeating energy that's surrounding everybody. So look at those new opportunities and look at those new relationships, whether business or personal, romantic or friendly, and welcome them because this is a really profound, abundant new chapter, baby. It's about letting the past go and being open-hearted and taking a leap of faith into the future. Woo, doggy, I'm so excited. Yay. Um, so I had started, this is, first of all, the sauna, you know, is where I come and talk about spiritual topics and sweat and detox and meditate and Ah, it's such an amazing place and, and it really, really helps me clear my mind and focus my energy and my thoughts, right? So I was um, in the middle of a series of vlogs about the 12 spiritual laws and I took a break to do the um, full moon lunar eclipse vlog, but we're back on target. Today is law number eight and that is the law of perpetual transmutation of energy. Perpetual transmutation of energy. That's a mouthful. Okay, so what that means is that energy is always in motion. You know, it's either in wavelength or particle form, but it's never stopped. It's always moving. And that's how you can do all sorts of magical stuff in um, with quantum physics is you really, you really get down to the micro, my, nanoparticle level. And you put energy and you move things about. Anyway, so energy is always in motion. So, for example, if the permeating energy in your life has been super duper duper duper, duper negative for whatever reason, primarily, as we've been talking about, and if at this point you've been watching, you know that if you're in a really crappy part stage of life, it's because of how you've been thinking and how you've been manifesting. Because we manifest in every single moment, okay? But... Energy can be changed, right? At any moment, you can decide to change the energy. You can decide to change the energy of yourself. You can try, decide to change the energy in an environment by what you bring to that environment. And you can change the energy of your life by how you manifest. So you can never like kill energy or get rid of it it just can change and that's huge the vibration changes and that changes everything in the vicinity and so it's just another bit of knowledge about how energy works and so um if you've been in a slump or in a funk and or have been feeling really down it's time to can take control of those thoughts and all that mind chatter and everything else in your life and spin it and turn it around, you know, change the energy, change the vibration, change your own personal vibration, right? I mean, we have that power. You just have to do it. I talk to people all the time about this and people argue with me about it. It's so funny because it's like, I heard this guy complaining, complaining about blah, 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 blah. Oh my God, it, we just wouldn't shut the frick up. I was like, seriously, dude, how about take a look at your life and, you know, realize all the amazing things you have to be grateful for. You know, like he, he's like wealthy, he's, has a mansion on a hill and blah, blah, blah. His house survived the fires, all this really positive stuff that he should be thankful for. And me, meanwhile, he's complaining about po some poor squatter on the adjacent land that got burned out and has got a trailer up there. And I'm like, and he just was going on and on and on. I was like, seriously, 
why don't you just take this moment at least and, and, and feel like having a good time because we were going to go do something and he was just a, in a miserable mood. And I was like, seriously, dude, dude change your energy. I can't. I can't change my energy. I can't. I'm an alpha. I, I have, a, I have a, uh, you know, whatever, type A personality. I was like, oh my God, dude. Okay, well, you know what? If you say you can't, then clearly you can't. And that's what it takes. It takes knowing that to change everything, all you have to do is change the way you think and take control of your mind and your mind chatter and all of that energy that is expelled when you're blabbing out negativity as opposed to gratitude. If he was like, oh, thank God, thank God my house, or thank the universe my house survived. Thank the universe that I have such a beautiful house in the first place. Thank the universe that I have the money to live and pay when everything else is burned down. No, he couldn't go that route. See, so his energy remained low and miserable, and he was a pain in the ass to be around, and I didn't even want to hang around him. <laughs> so energy can be changed. Anyway, so now I'm going to meditate. I've got, uh, I'm going to put the time back up for a while. There's 131 degrees in here, and so I'm starting to really drip. Ah! But everybody have an amazing, amazing week. Happy MLK, Martin Luther King Day. He's such a profound influence on our modern times and such a from the heart chakra guy. Gosh. So happy birthday, MLK. And everybody, blessings to everybody. Please subscribe, by the way. Really. And, and reach out. I'm, I'm willing to do free readings and really good and um, answer questions or whatever. So please subscribe and please reach out. Um, I want to make myself available to help everybody that, that needs help, all right? So, <gasps> peace.